Dear friends in the global YMCA movement, I wish you the happiest and most fulfilled of years in 2024. My simple theme today and for the year is being awake and into a world of need and despair. Not a spirit or with our head under the pillow, try not to notice the ill we see around us. After the two years of COVID, perhaps we could have expected better, but no. The end of 2023 was overshadowed by the pain of Gaza, of Ukraine, and many more places of conflict where young people are caught on crossfire, their lives perhaps destroyed forever. Many could not even celebrate Christmas in 2023. Perhaps you saw that in Bethlehem, the place of our Lord, there was no tree, no light. We are now in the second week of January. But I wonder how you spend the first minute of this year. I spent them in my church in Togo, at the English Presbyterian. Maybe 500 people have gathered about 9 o'clock on New Year Eve. We kept silence and were led in prayer as we put the old year to bed. All its joy and all its pain. As midnight approaches, we were in silence and you could not hear a pin drop. I found myself recalling an address given in February 1962 by one of my greatest heroes, Martin Luther King. He called it a knock at midnight. It was around midnight. Yeah. And you can have some strange experiences at midnight. Yeah. It is midnight in our world today. And we are experiencing a darkness so deep that we can hardly see which way to turn. He was speaking about social and racial injustice, the nuclear threat, and many other symptoms of the midnight hour. I think that ring true in 2023. He used a story from the Bible where a man knocks at the door of his neighbor in the middle of the night and asks for a loaf of bread to share with a friend and an unexpected visitor. And the neighbor say no. I've gone to bed. My dear friends, a lot of people are knocking on our door asking for bread. A lot of vulnerable people in our community are coming to us in the hours of need. And there are especially young people who seek the wholeness and peace in body, mind, and spirit. They seek individual and community well-being. They seek meaningful work. They seek a sustainable planet, and they seek a just world. You recognize those terms, I hope. They are in our four pillars of YMCA Vision 2030. Do we turn away saying it's too late? Or are we asleep or without bread? Or do we open the door and let them in? So those were my thoughts in the last minute of 2023. And there were we all, 500 people, in a painful but hopeful silence in Togo. And when the clock struck 12 times, we all erupted in joy, realistic joy, because life go no easier. But real joy because life is a gift. So we broke into song and music and dance and shrieks and delight. Because 2024 is a new year and a new chance. Now I could use this message to talk about our share plan for 2024, or about those for Vision 2030 pillars, about the team we are putting together, about the data we are collecting, about accelerating our progress toward an accelerator summit in October. But you'll have more than enough of that in the month to come. So for now, as a new year begins, I simply urge you to stay awake and to listen 
and to hear the knocking and to open the door. To let people in or to go out and bring them in. There is a home called the YMCA, which is our collective home, which work night and day toward making our collective home on earth in a form of a just, sustainable, equitable, and inclusive world. Yes, for all. It's easier to keep awake in the group than alone. A hurting world needs us and it's our privilege to meet that need and to bring music and joy where we can. Veille. Keep awake. Happy New Year. Happy 2024.